Hey up everyone, welcome to another video. In this video, I'm joined by a good friend of mine, Matt. We've been friends for a long time now, work colleagues up until about 12 months ago. I consider him one of my best mates. I've decided to take him out shooting with me. He's, uh, he's ex-forces, he's always shot all his life. He's recently, in the last 12 months, got into air rifle hunting. It's a pleasure to join up with him and get out and about. This video, we're after pheasants. It's a really good session. So bear with us. I hope you enjoy footage. Hey up everyone. Yeah, I'm just sat in bungalow hide this morning. Target squirrels and pheasants. Just after first live. Right, we'll see what turns up. Should be a lot of pheasants in the area. Feed's been way down in feeder quite a lot. It's getting topped up regular. I've noticed this morning it's gone down a lot again, but there's, there's quite a lot of coveys of pheasants coming down. We've got three, four groups up, so about 10 birds at a time. So, plan this morning, we're going to uh, cull a few of them. Uh, so, let's see what happens. Been joined this morning by Matt, mate, for a long time. He's using Krell Knight, uh, shoots 177, he's using GSP Exacts. And he's, uh, he's wrapped his rifle in some camo. It's from a company called, if I pronounce it right, Nobby Stritch. I think it's a Croatian company. Looks fantastic on rifle. Really nice detail on it. Like 3D leaf effect. First visit has arrived. Matt's using camcorder at the top at rifle to get capture some footage of his shooting. But we're struggling to get a clear sight. Really struggling to see it. I don't think I've got width. I don't think I've got barrel clearance either. After a quick rethink and a reposition of that log, so we can I get resting rifle, we're back on it. That brief delay of getting set up encouraged about four or five more ends to come to the bottom of the feeder. As you'll see from footage shortly, it pays dividends. Matt's waiting, he's waiting patiently. What we're hoping for is one of these birds to either go up onto the feeder. You're waiting for the reds to be still. You'll find once they've pecked a bar and had a little bit of hustle and bustle, they'll freeze. They'll stick the neck up in the air, the head will come to rest, just for a brief few seconds. And if you can get yourself lined up, then you get straight on her and you should be able to take nice clean head shots. I'll stop talking and I'll let you see Matt go about his business. This next sequence of footage is really top quality shooting from him. And that's first one in bag. That's two in bag. He's getting lined up on a third. Another nice head shot. Flutters just at right, about five yards come to rest. This one's slightly obscured. Scrim net we're getting in front of the camcorder. Nice head shot. I'll just give you a quick look around where we are this morning. Show you how we set up. So I'm sat in that chair. But we're looking at that window for Jack Dawes. It's been primarily about presence this morning. That shooting window. A couple more pheasants down out there. Got Matt's gear, he's brought his dipole. He's got his rifle down there. After Matt's four in a row, it's time for me to get in on action.
as usual. I'm using Air Amp Ultimate Sport out of those chunks. That's 0.177 caliber, sub 12 foot pounds. Been performing brilliantly this morning. Pinpoint accuracy. But I don't expect all else from Air Amps. This is our view from bungalow hide. We've got one at windows open. Feed is at about 25 yards. And it's proving to be a magnet for pheasants. Squirrels are still late to the party. There's plenty in area. A quick see. Matt's gone out to do a pickup. I'm actually chuckling to myself here because I've got no idea why he froze and started staring at me. A bit like a deer in headlights. He's picking up. I think uh, there's a couple of hen pheasants on floor at this point, and a cock pheasant. So rather than spook any more incoming birds, he's gone out, pick a quick, pick them up quickly, get back in hide, get 20 minutes to calm down again, disturbance to settle, and they should return. Matt's on another hen pheasant. Mold it scrim net back for him this time so we get a clearer side picture. Let's see what he does with this pheasant. In my videos, I always talk about patience, waiting for the right time to take your shot, learning rhythm, your quarry, and the behaviour, it'll enhance your timing. Matt's waiting, he's waiting for birds to stick his head up, but he's not presenting that type of shot. So when it's settled and it's feeding, and his head's down, the times is shot perfectly. We've done alright so far. Uh, managed to get a few pheasants apiece. Morning's cold, so we're just fueling up on a couple of pot pies. And by behind rifle. That's all them pheasant that Matt just shot. Brought a few more in. For a change, Matt's filming me. I'm just getting myself ready on an M pheasant. Nice shot, he struck a little bit low, did go into lower base at head and neck, higher area at neck. It's off camera, I get a second shot just to make sure we're finished off. I'm pleased with that, nice to be on trigger and take my turning session. Matt's gracefully allowed me some more time behind rifle, behind trigger. I'm lining up again. There's a few M pheasants, I believe. All around basic feeder again. Just wait for my moment. Heads up. Line up. That was a nice clean head shot. As I've mentioned loads of times before, and people always comment, there is some inhibition, birds flap about, birds jump about, but it's all normal and should be expected. This cock pheasant were a tricky shot, 
I must have watched it for around about three minutes, trying to wait for an opportunity. We were just more intent on feeding, constantly moving, head bobbing about. I'd said to Matt I thought I'd seen a squirrel around back at tree before I uh, noticed this cock pheasant. I'd just see it then again at right and it ventures out to the left. I'm thinking about taking squirrel instead, but that were fidgety and we all know that they need to be perfectly still to get a clean head shot. Keep looking, think it might come up to the feeder, prevent me with a shot, but it doesn't. I had to skip some footage, cut it out because it did go on forever. And eventually, pheasant sits up nice. And that's another one in bag. We're having a fantastic morning at this point. Matt shot a few more off camera. Unfortunately, Scrimnet got in way. So we didn't actually capture the footage of all these shots, but he had a brilliant morning. After we shot these two, Matt went out, did another pickup, and he come back in. All excited, telling me they were buzzed, hovering around, we were checking out pheasants. So we left them out here for a while, hoping it'd come down and we'd get some footage. But I think it had seen Matt and it just perched up in a tree and it realised there were danger lurking below, or people, I wouldn't say danger because it were in no danger. Uh, they are protected in the UK, but decided against coming down. So we did a quick pick up, about 20 minutes later. We're back on some more pheasants. Matt had just shot that one. It's flapping about to the left. Again, we swap places. I took that first M pheasant, and I'm looking out for this one. As you can see, an exceptional session. 13 pheasants. And Matt's just stoked in on this squirrel. So that's a nice little bonus. Fantastic morning. Plenty of wild food there. We're going to have to share some of this about. We'll split it between us and then we'll share it amongst family as well. Lovely little surprise for family for an extra treat over Christmas. End of session, we did it birds up. This is Matt's all prepared for freezer, ready for eating. I brought mine home, popped them in the cabin, left them overnight. And next day, I set about preparing them all. So that's all my pheasants that I split. They're all ready for the freezer, just wants bagging up. So I've left a couple of birds all on the bottom left here. I've got what, two, four, six crowns. A pile of legs on the left hand side, some of them are buried underneath that crown. Nice freezer filler. <laughs> a real life Yeti. Coming to you from Friday. <laughs> I share some land with lads from my Yorkshire Oaks. They've got a YouTube channel. Check them out. Hunting with Harris Oaks, absolutely fantastic channel. Amazing birds to see. I met up with him a few weeks ago. Bumped into each other on the same bit of ground. Had 10 minutes. Rich Rich natter. <laughs> in, his nat in his natural habitat. <laughs> and let, him, let him on the way to go about well, the hunting business. Found. Here's my favourite shot of my shots. Slow it down, slow motion. Seat pellet strike home nice and clean. That's a lovely cock bird for freezer. Really pleased with that shot. Really pleased I had time with Matt. Great to catch up mate and uh, we'll do it again soon. As ever, thanks for watching. I'll see you next video.